Hello everyone, this is Yavin and welcome to MySQL tutorial for beginner. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can update data from a table in MySQL. So in order to update data, you need to say here update and then our table name which is employees. Then we need to say here set and let's say we want to change the salary for the uh, Sonia whose ID is 6. So we want to change the salary or update the salary. So we are going to say here salary equal to let's say it will be $200.25. So we want to update the data for Sonia. So we need to mention something so that we can update the salary for Sonia and the better way to update any data is by using ID. So here you can see employee ID. So we are going to say one here employee underscore ID equal to six. So or it will do is that it will update the salary from the employee ID six. So right now if I just run this, uh, there you can see the salary changed for Sonia whose ID is six. You can also use employee name as well. Let me just show you. We can just say that EMP underscore named equal to let's say here Sonia and we stop 200 let's say we'll make it 900 and let's run this there you can see the salary is updated you can also update two columns at the same time so for it we can just say here set salary for this one and let's say we also want to just the higher debt let's say here higher underscore debt equal to and it will be let's say 2029 month 7 date 3 zero 3 so and instead of employee name we are going to say here employee underscore id because in real life whenever we want to update something we use id because id is always unique so we'll say id says so here you can see okay instead of 900 let's say here 800 so right now, if we just run this, the salary will change and also higher debt will change as well. So let me just run it. And there you go. And whenever you want to update something, make sure that you are using the fire clause or fire condition. Because if you don't use the higher condition, then all those salary and higher debt will gain the same data. For example, uh, let me just remove this fire condition from here and salary as well. And if we just say here update employee said had dead this date, so it will make all the column have the same date. And we also need to end it with a semicolon. So right now, if I just run this, there you can see all the higher date is same right now. So do not do this. Always use fire condition while we want to update the data. Okay. So this is how you can update data in MySQL. I hope this tutorial was easy for you to understand. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.